V, it's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Sol. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Sol. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? You? Yeah. After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek. Static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So we do what Saul would want us to do. Your leader gets nabbed and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. He's still there. We have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections.
Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I feel like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local cabinet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Let's sum things up, just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Saul. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few, so we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yep, let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet, a rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. for a spin if you like. I can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but... Moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... One hell of a storm! What can... 
bad. Oh, it's bad and more than its look. We have to move quickly. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. All right, I'm in position. I have you in range. Keep your I eyes peeled. See him up I see close. several heavy hitters. Just wait. <laughs> Nothing to see just yet. Wait till they give him a taste of the torch. Try to melt him down. There's a sniper perched in the tower.
I'll make sure you get off easy. That's weird. I'll go easy on you, don't worry. I promise. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, fuck. A good way to get to the garage. From there you can access a footbridge leading to the main structure. That should be their garage. It's heavily guarded. Knowing them, they have something important in there. You might even gain access to the security system. structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul.
Any progress? Is he singing yet? Rotten in the basement a while longer ought to loosen his pipe. Fucking hell, sure hope so. It's taken too long. Okay, main building. Watch for vermin.
Nothing to be shy about!
Got a girl here. Dead. Disemboweled. And not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking Raffins! Soulless filth! There's no line they won't cross! None! Eyes on him. Is he breathing? Really? Think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Your cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar. Some ice cold hooch. And a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But... she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Can you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing okay. up the engine. Just give me I'll a be shimmy. right there. You won't pay back too late. Got no rafts left to share. You? Alone? All of them? Pan Am watched my back. I can confirm. There is no movement in the compound. I'll pull up to collect you shortly. Be careful down there. Vermin could still crawl out of some hole. storm is picking up steam. Good. It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead.
will just whip us off this road. We need to find shelter. The Ingalls farm? Good idea. You two know him? No one's lived there a while. Biotechnica saw to that. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. Bulldozers. No backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy, rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp. You end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, offloading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well... <sighs> it's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea! 
I gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste. Uh, no, your hunger for freedom. It's not easy to come by in Night City. The corpse got their grubby claws and everything. And I just can't believe you'd hand them what you hold to be most precious. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? To her boobs. Yeah. To her boobs. Ooh. Now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead, yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. And? You think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, man. Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. Ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. Oh? And what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh... <clears throat> the... No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? Right. So... Friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. Ooh, do you hear that? Nope. Mm hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Did you sleep all right? 
Good work, V. Old style raid. Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time, I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Just not want to kick back and relax, are you? It's not my style, no. I'm back with the clan, sure. But I have things to do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing. The wraiths, the raid. It's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different, I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Dunno, a memory, maybe. Don't matter. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. <laughs> 